Okay, hi guys. Um, it's Austin. Uh, this is somewhat, I guess, of a rant video. Um, I mean, I wouldn't consider it a rant, but what it is is, it's just something I have a problem with, and what my teacher that I'm with right now, named Ms. Stoker, told me, don't bring up a problem unless you have a solution. Uh, so I'm going to bring up a problem that I have, and it's a pretty well-known problem in the gay community and talk about how I think it can be helped or even fixed depending on how much people respond to this video. Um, I'm going to talk about coming out and the problems I have with it. Uh, number one, I, me and Nikolai both get messages on occasion through Snapchat, Instagram, DMs, um, just, you know, through the mail, talk and people talk about their story and stuff, and a lot of the times when people talk about their coming out, they said they awaited because of fear. And that makes me furious. For someone to be so afraid to say something about themselves that is just them is infuriating to me. Uh, so... I wrote down the definition of fear to explain to y'all. The definition of fear is an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that something or someone is dangerous that is likely to cause pain or a threat to you. Um, and people are putting two and two together. They're putting coming out with fear and that leaves such a bad taste in my mouth because it's setting a bad example for kids who are going to come out later, and I just want it to be so much easier. It makes me just so mad that this is still a hard thing to do. Of course, people are going to be nervous to come out just because, you know, it's saying something that people didn't know, but I don't think anybody should ever be afraid to come out, afraid that they are going to be kicked out, afraid that they're going to be disowned or disapproved by friends and family and teachers and just people that they are surrounded by. Uh, when I came out, I was terrified of the reaction by my school, by my friends, by my parents. And if you've seen one of my most popular videos, you would understand why I was very rightly afraid to come out at my school. It did end up affecting me quite a bit, and that got popular. It got popular because my coming out was difficult my coming out had a negative side. But you never you never hear these big stories of coming outs that were just fine. They're out there, but I just don't think they get enough attention. And what I want to do is show people that might be coming out the amount of people who came out and nothing happened. That they came out and they, they didn't need to be afraid. Nothing too serious happen to them. Nicolette, you come here. For those of you who don't know, this is my amazing boyfriend, Nikolai. No. Um, when you came out, were you afraid? Yeah, I was afraid at first. What were you afraid of? Um, not being accepted, I guess, like being pushed away from the crowd, I guess was the best way to explain it. Um, Something about Nikolai, he was in football at the time when he wanted to come out, and uh, I remember him, the main concern was he didn't want to be disowned by his team. His team was like his family to him, and uh, he just didn't want to be kicked out of the group. Were you? Well, I mean, I came out after this season, so... But, like, did anybody have an, an actual issue? Uh, no, not, no, I don't think so, no. So, uh, you didn't really have a reason to be afraid? Uh, no. But why were you? I mean, just because, like, there's a stigma, like, in, like, during, like, team meetings or, like, just in the locker room, you'll hear, like, a joke about, you know, like, being gay or that's so gay. Or, like, we thought somebody was going to come out, but it was something that was completely different. And, like, you always hear people say, like, oh, you know, I'd be fine if you came out, you know, just, like, don't change next to me or stuff like that. And it's kind of like, oh, I want to come out. But then when you hear that, it's like, nope. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, is it's like... People are afraid to come out because they hear horror stories 
and they hear jokes and they just don't know what to do and it causes so much anxiety for kids and you know even probably for adults and I want to change this by creating a hashtag that's not like too out there like if someone posted it and someone didn't know what it meant they would instantly know what it meant but it's a way for people who are gay to look at it and they'll know if I come out this person won't judge me. This person won't have a problem with me. Uh, the two hashtags I wanted to use were the first one is for people who are gay and have come out and the hashtag they can use is hashtag I'm not afraid. Which basically means they came out and their story wasn't a horror story. Not everybody's coming out is perfect of course but maybe they're at a point in their lives where you know it's not a bad thing anymore. It could have been intense for a little while. Like, mine was pretty intense. Like, my parents cried, it was pretty difficult for a while, Same. but now I'm fine. Um, that's actually, surprisingly, a good coming out. You know, after a while, everything's okay. And this is a hashtag I would use. Um, you know, just on one picture, just, you know, maybe me and Nikolai and just be like, in it, hashtag, I'm not afraid. Just saying, letting people know that see me, that I had no problem coming out. And the other hashtag is for people who maybe aren't gay, um, who might have gay friends, but they don't know they're gay because they're in the closet. And their hashtag is I'm not, hashtag I'm not the cause. This means if you use this hashtag and someone who might be in the closet sees it, they don't have to be worried about you. They know if I'm friends with this person and I come out, this person is not going to be the reason that I'm upset for coming out. This person is going to help me. This is going to be a friend that stays with me through coming out. Um, I hope that makes sense. Uh, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, of course, I'm very involved in social media. If you use the hashtag I'm not afraid on an Instagram picture and tag me in it, you are 100% going to get uh, a like from me. Uh, Maybe from Nikolai? Yes. Yeah. Nikolai will like it too. If you do it on Twitter, you'll get it there too. Um, I just want to make people who haven't come out more comfortable with coming out. Let them know that it's not as scary as it seems, that people will still love you. I'll love you. Nikolai will love you. Your friends who, if they happen to use these hashtags, will love you. Um, this is just my small way of hopefully helping some people that are in the closet. I know we have viewers that are in the closet, and maybe if you see this on your friends who don't even know you're gay, it'll just make you feel a little bit better about coming out. Um, that's all I really have to say. It's I'm sorry if you guys were looking for something cute, but this was just, I feel like I just needed to talk about this. Um, so, uh, I think that's all for right now. Um, if you agree with this video, please share it so that others can see uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Comment what you think in the video. Comment what you think. Comment if there's something you think could help people. I've been thinking about this for a few days, and I just think, you know, if I can do anything, I want to do something. And I'm just really proud of this idea. Hopefully it'll get started. Hopefully people will use it. Um, don't forget to follow us on social media, see what we're doing. Uh, definitely follow us on Twitter. We're always talking about stuff on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram and Snapchat and all that stuff. And remember, you guys, you're never alone. Because you always have us. Thanks, you guys. I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye, guys. See you guys later.